All right, today we have the cap barbell, open trap barbell. Um, not a lot to say here because it's a, I mean, it's, a, it's a trap bar, it's an open trap bar. There are better ones out there, but I think you'll find this one very cost effective. I think I saw this one on Amazon for 80 bucks today, which is actually really good just for a trap bar in general. So maybe something's going on with prices. Maybe there's a backlog, all the stuff they ordered from COVID and jacked the prices up. Maybe it's gonna start coming down. I don't know, but 80 bucks ain't bad. The weight capacity is relatively high on this. The ends here, this is a one inch standard size plate bar on each end that you put this, what is this, like a foot long probably, Olympic size handle on. There's enough space for, uh, if you're using bumper plates, you could probably get about four on here, but they'd be the, the edge sticking out there with absolutely no innuendo whatsoever, right? So uh, one thing you'll notice on here is that I am an idiot and I took all this time to assemble it. I put one handle facing one way and one handle facing the other. Don't do that is all I can tell you. Uh, it doesn't affect anything that I bought it for. I got it for one exercise and one exercise only. And that is some A, farmer carries, and B, you can do some bent over rows with it. If you put my wagon wheels on there, it puts the height right here, and you're literally just pulling on the effective part. It'll get rid of all the leg plate that people have when you put like a bumper plate or something on it. That's it. As far as additional exercises you can do with it, I don't have anything to add that you haven't seen before. So that's the only one I could show you that, but you know what Ben Over Rose looked like. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I can say about that. If you had these facing the same way, you could change the grip a little bit so that you'd be a little bit wider. Um, these are right where they need to be. So let's talk about what makes this different than any other trap bar, right? So we have a handle on the top, which you could also use to do farmer carries, but look at the ground clearance. I am 5'11 on the dot, so if we just put that in my fingertips, it's hitting the ground. So if you're any shorter than me, <laughs> I mean, maybe if you lean, but this is gonna be hitting the ground. So I don't see the purpose of this handle other than having a place to hang it on one of these hooks that I've got randomly on my wall. So what makes it different is you have wheels here. So it will roll forwards and backwards if you want. Just like that. I don't know what you're gonna do with that, but it's a thing that it has. So if you had two of these, you could do farmer walks with them. I have farmer walk handles over here. These, I don't even know what these brand these are, these are just old. These are gonna work a lot better. So I'm gonna use that for those. This is getting sold. First person that gives me 50 bucks for it takes it out of my basement. So that's all I had to say about this. 80 bucks though, it ain't bad. I would prefer metal handles, which there is a balance from one on the Walmart site, which has them for 70, slightly cheaper. So that might be a better option. I think the handles are probably gonna be nicer on this one but it's really just painted metal with some uh, stamping on it. So that's it. Lots of bolts, two on either side that holds all the pieces together, four on the bottom to put the wheels on for whatever friggin' reason. And you got a couple up here that holds two sides together. Um, I don't think it's gonna be a problem, but if you have both sides loaded up and you somehow were doing carries, there might be a chance for something weird to happen with that much weight because this is two separate pieces, but probably not. That's all I got for now.